In the midst of hurricane season, preparedness is a must. This is Kilo Hotel 6, Mike. Michael Miller is part of the volunteer amateur radio operators, also known as HAMS. In the event of an emergency with severe infrastructure failure, they could be our last resort to push life saving information. If we're hit by a hurricane, and that's what this drill is simulating, what's going to happen is the internet will go down on one or more islands, and uh, counties will not be able to communicate. So what we're going to be able to do is set up our radios and our computers to be able to send voice messages. Miller says there are more than 3,000 people who are FCC licensed to operate high-frequency radios. The HAMS are planning on doing an emergency training exercise next month. The idea is to share information between the islands. HAMS will be encouraged to deploy their stations using off-grid power, basically pretending that electricity and cell phone services have gone dark. Every day at 9 o'clock noon and 4 o'clock, there's an inner island net that connects all the islands together. So if one island was out of power, or out of cell service, you could still communicate with the other islands. Okay, six LT. You're loud and clear. My location is Haiku Valley, Kamioi. The Hawaii Department of Health recommends people have at least 14 day supply of food if a hurricane does approach the islands. And families should have an emergency plan and a meetup location if separated. For Miller, operating high frequency radios has become a hobby, but it's a hobby that could save a life when it's needed most. With that, we'll send it back to you, uh, Michael K6ML, WH6 Camp. Max Rodriguez, KHO1 News, working for Hawaii.